Hey, welcome to episode four of the ninth season of Dan in the Kitchen. Today I'm making beef stew in the crock pot. However, I am going to sear the beef beforehand. I've already salted and peppered my beef, cut the larger pieces into two so they're all roughly the same size, and you're looking about two and a quarter pounds here. I've prepped my mushrooms. I got about hmm, a pint or two of them. Uh, two onions and three stalks of celery. I've got my salt ready. Got my carrots, which I'm going to peel and chop later. And generally, I do not put potatoes in my beef stew, but I only have three left. I decided to throw them in and take away two carrots. I got some more pepper, paprika, sun-dried tomatoes, and Worcestershire sauce. And over here is the discarded food. Like that beef is not good eat, so I trimmed some of the excess gristle and silver skin off of the beef. Okay, what I'm going to do next is, in a pan, heat up some oil, get it nice and hot, sear the beef after I flour it, and then get it ready in my slow cooker with the liner. Okay, so I'll be back after I flour and sear the beef. Stay tuned. Okay, welcome back. I put the potatoes and carrots in the crock pot, salted them just a bit to give a little seasoning to the potatoes, and over here I have my beef searing in hot oil. They were floured, and I will be getting ready the other vegetables, which is the onion, celery, mushrooms, sun-dried tomatoes, Worcestershire. Sorry to be moving so fast, but there you have it. And I'm going to be turning these bad boys. Give me a second here. Sorry that this looks like an MTV production. I'm getting a nice crust on that with the flour and the hot oil. Just turn them. They don't all have to be browned on all sides. Let's get that bigger one in the middle. And maybe my oil's not hot enough, but that's okay. There, as you can see. Oops, sorry about that all. Yeah, looking good. Nice crust, okay. And then when this finishes uh, browning, I think that's all I'll do. Next time I come back, these guys will be drained and put into the crock pot. So we'll see you soon. Okay, we're back. The beef is browned nicely. I put it in the crock pot. I'm adding the Worcestershire sauce. I'm giving it a nice depth of flavor, a real complexity, as Lydia and Martha Stort both say. And I'm coming over here. I'm adding oops, all my mushrooms because I love them. Oh, that's a lot, but they'll cook down. They weren't cut, oops, sorry. They weren't cut terribly small. And over here I have my sun-dried tomatoes. And I'm going to add these, and I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. I forgot to say, I also add garlic. I chopped up here about five, six cloves. That's going in here. Probably should have gone in with the meat first. I will say also I forgot to add the paprika, but that's okay. And I also forgot to mention, of course, you need fluid. Chicken broth or chicken stock is the best. I usually make my own, but I'm out of it. So we're going to add one can. That should be almost two cups. That won't be enough here, so I'll probably just have to augment this with some water. I could do another can of chicken broth, but I don't get paid enough to afford two cans of chicken broth. Okay, so what I'm going to do is step back a bit, look at my creation, grab the onions and celery here, throw that on the top. And yeah, this definitely is going to need a lot more water, a lot more fluid. And I didn't add salt on the meat when I put it in, but I added salt before I browned it. So what I'm going to do is just add a little bit more on the top of the onions and celery. Add a bit more water and then put it on low for, no, 10 hours. Let's plug it in. Ugh. Okay. Select on low and let's go up to 11 hours. I don't think it's going to need that long, but I shut it off when I'm hungry. Okay, again, I'm going to salt the top. I'm going to add a little bit more fluid and let this go. And I'll let you know how it turned out. Bye, everybody.